All right. Welcome back to Doom. We are continuing on now with the Shores of Hell. So this is the second episode of uh, the original Doom uh, and one of two that you got for registering the game. Originally there were going to be six in uh, Tom Hall's Doom Bible, but that got uh, changed. Along with virtually everything else in the Doom Bible. So we've crossed over from uh, Phobos to Deimos. Either that or we've died and gone to hell where we find Deimos apparently existing. So uh, interpret that how you will. But either way, it's nice to have our shotgun back. we want to use that to unlock a teleporter which will introduce us to two new elements of this episode a new enemy first of all which is the caca demon there who is absolutely slaughtering me caca demons have far too much health for this level of the game. The other thing we get here is the plasma gun. Nifty little weapon. The most powerful in uh, this episode. We won't get the uh, top ranking weapon until episode 3. Okay, so let's hurt and... Right. Run away. I like to use these teleports very tactically. Considering how close I was to death earlier. I think we got out of it okay. Trying not to use the uh, plasma rifle if I can at all avoid it because I really, really, really want to save it for the final boss. Because the other option is to rocket duel him and I ain't doing that. Alright, Dimus Anomaly done. 100% across the board. Continuing on to containment area. So this level uh, was begun by Tom Hall, who uh, notably wasn't around for the completion of Doom. He had left id Software by the time the game was finished. Uh, as for why, basically his uh, position was felt to be no longer sustainable. Tom Hall was the creative director of id Software's games up to this point. He um, sort of was responsible for most of the level design in a lot of their games and uh, created the uh, stories and the overall 
what's the term? Universes, I guess. Like he he made the in-game universes, and uh, he even did all the art for uh, the first Commander Keen game, pretty much. Uh, Adrian Carmack came on the project very late and did a few things. Uh, so he was he was a very important person who did software, but he uh, he and the rest of the team had very different opinions about what direction Doom should go in, and uh, the result was that uh, he was asked to walk away. Uh, he had written a um, plot for Doom that was very in depth spanned six episodes and had NPCs and uh, yeah a lot of story and uh, the others felt it was getting in the way history would probably suggest that Tom Hall was just about the most talented person at id software um, and it, it his departure is an interesting sort of uh, predecessor to the departure of John Romero sometime later. Um, Romero would leave essentially for similar reasons. He and Carmack no longer saw eye to eye on what was important about the games they were making. And uh, when that is the case, you are going to find it very hard to work together. Uh, Carmack seemed to think that what was important was the tech and what sold their games was the tech, whereas Romero felt that what sold their games was the fact that their games were good. Uh, it would be fair to say that... Uh, Romero was closer to correct than Carmack, although Carmack definitely made a lot of money selling the tech on in later years. Uh, but, uh, oh god, I'm trapped. But id uh, never were able to make as compelling an experience after Romero's departure, as they did before it. So, uh, there's probably something to both sides of that argument. At any rate, Tom Hall would, uh, after leaving id Software, go on to join their former business partners at Apogee Software, where he would write the story for Hocus Pocus, with his own very irreverent sense of humour. And, uh, yeah, he, he headed up the developers of Incredible Power and uh, made Rise of the Triad, uh, into which he put a lot of elements of what his original vision for Doom was. If you've never played Rise of the Triad, it's quite worth checking out. It's very fun and silly. I generally crank down the uh, the jibs or the gibs. I was never sure he pronounced that. I always assumed it was. Um, uh, I always assumed it was um, gibs, but I'm told it's meant to be jibs. So uh, yes, I think I think they got a bit carried away with certain elements of that. But uh, it's a um, it's an interesting uh, first person shooter in its own right. And uh, while technologically very simple compared to Doom, it was probably more willing to have fun with its own concept than Doom was. So, yeah, it makes up for it in its own ways. I don't even have the blue key yet. It's a big sprawling level. Uh, no, I don't want to go that way. And I don't want to go that way. What am I missing? The crushes. I haven't been to the crushes yet. So I want to go this way. 
This level has um, a lot going on in it. Uh, perhaps a little too much. Ow. I thought I was through that. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. Ah, yes. Chainsaw, Lost Souls. So the Lost Souls are another new enemy. Um, like the Cacodemon, they're a flying enemy, but uh, unlike the Cacodemon, they're relatively fragile, but uh, really annoying. They just peck away at you until they can peck no more. And you should not fight them with the chainsaw no matter what this room is trying to make you think. Okay, through that. Blue key. Stop hitting the chase cam. Nice little wraparound trick there, which I very much approve of. Uh, so back to the exit where the red door is. Thank you very much. Uh, this way. And that'll do it. So there is loads more to this level. There is um, a whole section with the yellow key that I completely skipped, which unlocks two secret areas. But I'm not trying to 100% the game. I'm trying to play it through in the manner in which I usually play it through. And uh, I play it through quite casually, to be honest with you. Oh, would you go away? I play it through quite casually and often quite badly. It must be said. Berserk pack, thank you. I'm not going to go around stabbing everyone to death, but boy do I want the health. Oh god, I forgot about you. Okay, so the number one way to take out Cacodemons is with the chainsaw. But if I try and take this Cacodemon out with the chainsaw, I'm just going to get shot to bits by everyone while I do it. So, uh... Well, we got a Gatling gun. I might have preferred a machine gun, but uh, I'll take what I can get. Go away. Did I grab that health? I must have accidentally. Ah, it's annoying when you grab health and you don't really need it. Rockets? If I'd uh, gone for the secrets in the previous level, I'd have a rocket launcher to fire them from. Oh, come on. the way I wanted to go. Um, no, I'm thinking of the wrong spot. Okay. Mega armor. That could be quite helpful. A secret is revealed. Oh, see, partial invisibility is not always as useful as it looks because basically it just invites you to dodge your way into some shots. Okay. Uh, the weird moving floor bit. Oops, I'm out of rad suit. Uh, 
Uh, so what do I need? I need a blue key. Uh, yeah, this way and then this way. Take care of most of the enemies in that room. Those imps always manage to dodge it. Okay. Keep pumping, Chase Cam. Alright. Okay, now we've got the blue key and we've got some more energy cells. Stocking up. Always a good idea. Uh, where are we? Ah, uh, yeah, this bit. Okay. Take the secret stairway, and uh, we would be at full energy cells now if I hadn't already found a backpack. Uh, that door. Shortcut back to the blue door. And don't shoot me kindly, sir. Kind of situation where I wish I had got the rocket launcher. So, during episode one, I talked briefly about how I first got a copy of Doom which was the shareware version of Doom. Um, but uh, I was trying to think, as a result, about how I first got a copy of the registered version of Doom. And uh, I'm struggling to remember. I believe we were gifted a copy, or I was gifted a copy. I want to say by one of my uncles. Uh who gave it to me for Christmas. Oh yeah, okay, I've just remembered what I was meant to do here. Okay, so I think if we go this way first... No. There's a radiation suit around here somewhere. And this isn't the way. Okay, where is this stupid rat suit? Well, this was all just a waste of time. Yes, okay, that's what I was looking for. I will get it. Thank you. Okay. And now we can do it without sounding like we're being murdered. See, it's all in my brain somewhere, but it just has to um, be called back to the surface. Uh, what was I doing? Exiting. That's what I was doing in a very ideal world. Thank you very much. Okay, that's the refinery done. Not quite 100%. 
but I'll live with it. Join me next time when we take on the Daimos Lab.